everyone, welcome back. My name is Cassie Reyes, lactation consultant and mom to an incredible little two-year-old. Today we're diving into a topic that is surrounded by misconceptions and doubt, and that is the ability to nurse with flat or inverted nipples. If you are a person with flat or inverted nipples, I want you to feel confident about feeding your baby. So if you or someone you know has been told that it's not possible to nurse with flat or inverted nipples, stick around because I want to help set the record straight and make you feel more comfortable and more at peace despite the shape of your nipples. So flat and inverted nipples are way more common than you would imagine. And I want to begin by dispelling the myth that individuals with flat or inverted nipples can't nurse their babies. This is a common misconception and it can really cause unnecessary worry for many new and expecting parents. The truth is the shape of your nipples really doesn't determine if your baby's going to be able to latch, nurse, breastfeed. It doesn't determine your milk supply either. So understanding some basic anatomy of milk production may help set your mind at ease and help you overcome any challenges that you might face while trying to nurse your baby. All right, so let's take a look at a model. This one is a little beat up because my baby did get to it and actually was playing around with it and bit the nipple off the end. So use your imagination. There is a little bit of nipple damage here. So this is the nipple, the part that protrudes, and the darker area around the nipple is the areola. Flat nipples don't protrude, so they're completely flush with the areola. They may come out with more stimulation or in cold temperatures, while inverted nipples actually point inwards. There are different degrees of this, so some are able to evert with stimulation and others may actually retract more with any stimulation or cold. Now let's touch on some fundamentals of the milk making anatomy. So milk is actually made far back here in the breast. This is where the mammary glands are. The milk ducts are responsible for transporting the milk out and they're actually located behind the areola. So regardless of your nipple shape, these ducts are gonna play a crucial role in letting the milk flow. And if these have ever been severed for any reason, I'm thinking due to a surgery, maybe you tried to have a correction surgery for flat or inverted nipples or a reduction or an augmentation, any surgery may sever these ducts and that may make it so that milk is not able to flow out of the ducts. All right, now let's talk about techniques that can make latching possible with flat or inverted nipples. And sometimes getting a baby to latch to a flat or inverted nipple can be more difficult in the beginning However, I usually tell parents, remember your baby only knows your nipples. So there's no point of comparison. They're learning on what they were given. So since your baby only knows your nipples, they may have no problem latching to a shorter or inverted nipple. The key thing here is to achieve a good deep latch. Experiment with different positions and find what works for you and your baby. Aiming the nipple far into the mouth and up towards the roof of the mouth should help them initiate sucking. And my next video is going to dive into more of this deep latch technique. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Some people do find that using a nipple averter or a breast pump before feeding can also help kind of stimulate and pull that nipple out. And it may also get milk flowing a little bit, which can help trigger the baby's latch and sucking a little bit quicker. It's really about finding out what works for you and your baby's unique needs. And if you're having trouble with this, there is plenty of support out there. So if you're facing challenges, remember there's really never any shame asking for help, looking for professional help from lactation consultants. We're here to offer personalized guidance and help you with your individual goals and challenges. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find out how to work with me and my specialized program for people with flat or inverted nipples. But to end, I really wanna emphasize that latching, nursing, breast or chest feeding with flat or inverted nipples is possible. And I wanted to quickly share my personal journey with this. When my daughter was born, she struggled to latch on either side. 
and I tried with a nipple shield, without a nipple shield, I tried to pump first, I tried nipple averters, and I even ended up working with several lactation consultants, both in the hospital and out of the hospital. To say the least, we struggled a lot for several days. And then one day we were just at the pediatrician's office waiting for the doctor to come in. She got hungry and she just magically laughed. She just magically latched to my left side, which was slightly less inverted than the right. And there it just clicked. Well, on that side, because she would only latch on that side for a long time. The right side was so challenging that it took us like three to four months of really working on it, even like taking breaks of not latching on that side because it was so painful for me. And I would just pump that side and protect the milk supply, collect milk. She fed just on one side. It was pretty wild. But eventually around three to four months, her mouth grew, she got bigger, her jaw changed, and somehow latching on the right side just became possible and less painful. And she eventually did go on to feed on both sides with no problems. So this was not an easy journey. And I want you to know that if you or someone you know is facing this challenge, I'd really love to be there to walk you through it and make your journey a more peaceful one. So make sure to check down in the description. I do have a new program all about helping pregnant people who have flared or inverted nipples and their goal is to give their baby human milk, um, help them have a successful and peaceful lactation journey from the start. So check that out. And in conclusion, I want you to remember that the ability to nurse breast or chest feed is not determined by the shape of your nipples, really with the right techniques, finding the right support, having a positive mindset and determination. Many parents are going to successfully be able to breastfeed their kids and give them their milk despite having flat or inverted nipples. So if you found this information helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe for more content and consider becoming a Patreon in the link below. That'll help these videos reach a wider audience around the world. You've got this. Remember, don't quit on your worst day. It does get easier, and I will see you all soon. Bye.